Now my next step, what's my next step? I'm gonna have to remove this tack strip all the way along here. Now, your question might be, why do you have to remove the tack strip? It looks like it's down nice and tight, and they're just gonna put carpet down here again, if that's what you're planning on doing at your place. Well, most carpet installers wanna put their own stuff here because they'll know it's tacked down nice and tight, and in certain areas they might wanna put a double layer of tack strip, like down along this edge. I see the last carpet guy, he put a double layer here because they stretched the carpet out. The main stretch was from left to right. But if you look over here, and there's still only one piece there, you know? And here's another important thought about the whole process of, do you need to remove your carpet tack strip? Do you own any pets? Do you have cats? You better replace that tack strip. Because if you don't, wherever your cat has pissed up against the wall, and you might not even know it, you might think, oh, my carpets were bad, i got to replace my carpet. If you don't replace this tack strip, you're going to have issues after you install your new carpet. Because see that discoloration piece right there? If that, if there, and there weren't any cats in here, by the way, but if your base, if your tack strip looks like that in certain areas, that, it could be wet, it could be moist, from areas where your cat has found its favorite little nook in your room, like right over here in this corner, to take a piss. And maybe another piece over there, and another over there. Even with dogs, they do that too. Now see over here, here's where the, the vent is for the HVAC system, is inside this closet. And see how this is discolored here? If you were gonna put tack strip down again, I would suggest taking that out. Now for us, we're going to take it out because we're not going to put carpet back in. And I'll explain that in a minute. Now this house is a smoke-free, cat-free, pet-free home. But if yours, if you have cats or dogs, and you're going to take that tack strip up and, you, and you, it's still smelly and you're down on a concrete subfloor. Let's say you're on a concrete subfloor. Here we've got existing tiles down vinyl tiles on the floor. But what you could do, wherever you see remnants of the smell, let's say, you're gonna wanna go to a local hardware store, talk to a salesman, and ask them what kind of cleanser can you use for cat urine and that sort of thing, okay? Because then you're gonna wanna clean the floor wherever you have to, because trust me, if you don't get it out, it can seep back through the new carpet after the new tar carpet gets installed. All right, there's your tip for the day. Okay, well, we'll just remove the carpet and the carpet pad. And here's something really important to use, something like this. Okay, it's a dust mask. You put this over your head and you kind of bend it right here for your nose. And some even have a little filter thing right here but that's kind of a must. I'm already feeling it in my throat, but I didn't, I didn't put one on because then it's harder for you to hear what I'm saying and all. So I'm kind of doing that for your benefit, okay? But get yourself some of these. You can buy them at the hardware store. A five pack, a 10 pack is probably cheaper than buying two or three at a time, or maybe they have a 15 pack. You can. You can use those for all kinds of different projects. Remember that.